The Grid Layout Manager lets you create a grid by specifying the number of rows and columns that you need. This Layout Manager will divide the container into equally sized cells, where you can directly place one component in each cell. And each component will be sized to fit the entire cell that it is placed in. Let's go back to our code and import java.awt.gridlayout. And then let's create another button. Let's create another one so that we'll have an even number of components for our layout because right now we only have five and I'd like to make a grid that has two rows and three columns which makes room for six components. And then here in the setup GUI method, let's replace our border layout manager with grid layout. Let's name this one grid and it will be equal to new grid layout with two rows and three columns. We specify the number of rows first, then columns. And then we say cp set layout grid. And then let's add each component one by one. Let me just remove all of these add statements and I will start from scratch. So let's begin by adding the input field by saying cp.add input and then cp.add label and then cp.add ta. And then let's add the three buttons. When adding components to a container with a grid layout, the components by default get added from the left to the right, starting with the first add statement. In this example, the input text field gets added first, so it will go inside the first column in the first row. And then the J label will get added to the second column in the first row still, and so on. Let's test this out. And here is our updated GUI. The input field gets added first, so you see it here, followed by the J label, followed by the text area. And then we go down to the next row and start adding from the left all the way to the right as well. 